Hello, I'm going to be showing you how to file income tax quarterly updates for self-employment using the 123 Sheets bookkeeping spreadsheet. You would first need to download the self-employed bookkeeping file. You can do that from within your account if you have purchased the bookkeeping spreadsheet already. I'm going to show you a demo version for the purposes of this video. Upon opening the spreadsheet, you should go to the Settings tab first and choose the various options that best suit your needs. These options will make the spreadsheet more simple or more complex depending on what is chosen. In this example, we have added some complexity and chosen the option of VAT registered. To start adding income details, click on Income and fill in these columns accordingly. Most of these could be freely typed in, but you can also paste bank transactions you might have downloaded from your online banking website. The process is the same for the Purchases and Other Entries tabs. To get an overview of the totals over the course of a certain period of time, click on the Income and Expense Report button. From here, you can change the date range to see summary income and expense totals. To view a ledger of all the transactions, we can use the ledger report. When you're ready to file quarterly submissions, click Income Tax File in the Reporting category. We can click on the Detailed Report next to see what is in a quarterly submission first. Then, when we are happy with that, we can create a PDF ready for submission. Clicking HMRC file will generate a PDF to upload to our website the quarterly summary data HMRC is looking for. Upon clicking HMRC file, a warning pop-up will appear, as after the HMRC file is generated, the data for that period will be locked, and any later amendments will have to be listed as additional transactions in whichever tab necessary. After clicking OK, the file will be generated and will open automatically. This will be saved as a PDF file that you will upload to our website. So, go to our website, log in, and on the To Do tab, you can see the outstanding returns. The data on the To Do and History tabs is all live data provided by HMRC, and if you have property rental income, any quarterly submissions for those will also show on this page. In this example, the first quarterly update for the self-employment has already been filed and can be viewed and amended in the History tab. In this example, we are going to resubmit the first quarter, so click on Amend. From this page, you need to choose the file type from these options here. Since we are using the 123 Sheets Bookkeeping spreadsheet, we need to pick 123 Sheets PDF. If you are using consolidated figures for the expenses, please tick this box. Then, you need to upload your PDF file created earlier by dragging and dropping the file onto the page, clicking Add File, and then Show Figures. Alternatively, you can click Choose File, find the file in your window pop-up, and upload it. You will then be shown the uploaded figures. Double check and verify that these figures are correct, tick the confirmation box and click File. You will get an on-screen confirmation that HMRC has accepted the return. Thank you for watching and feel free to try out our demo and set up an account.